Hey, good afternoon, Aries, and welcome to your April tarot reading, April of 2020. It's great to have you here. It's great to be able to, to connect with all my Aries, so family members. Uh, looking forward to sharing your reading with you today. By the way, my name is Morty. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. It's great to have you back. Uh, excited to share today's tarot reading with you. Today is Thursday, uh, March the 19th. The time is 3.09 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So Aries, let's talk a little bit about the Aries zodiac sign. Whether your sun sign is Aries or your moon or rising signs are Aries or maybe you have Aries in your Venus. Whatever the energies were that brought you here to this reading, trust those energies. Just stick around, see if the energies that we're pulling here in your reading today, if they resonate with you. If they don't resonate, be sure to check your moon, rising, or Venus sign for those readings as well, because you may find that those energies match up to your energy a little bit better. Uh, this reading will not be for every Aries, but it will be for many of you. So Aries, you guys are great. You guys are the go-getters. Uh, and we're in a beautiful year this year. It's kind of the year of Aries, uh, 2020. Adds up to a four, uh, representing that Aries energy. Aries, you're very curious, very energetic and upbeat, uh, courageous and positive, and passionate. Sometimes we come across as a little bit arrogant, maybe a little bit stubborn at times. Uh, we can lack discipline. Uh, we can be confrontational. And with Aries, and it's not applicable for every Aries, but many times Aries really have to be interested and engaged in what they're doing, right? Because if you start to lose interest a little bit, it'll trickle off, which in some cases can result into, you know, some incompleted projects here or there. So it's just good for us with the Aries energy to be aware of some of our strengths and our limitations with the Aries energy. So Aries, you're located, you're found in the first house. The first house is about our identity. This is you, your personality, and how you look and appear in the world. Aries, you were ruled by the planet of Mars. So, that's just some good general information about Aries that I always like to share at the beginning of the reading. Um, let's get started with your tarot reading. I wanna begin your reading today by taking a moment to tap the crystal healing bowl, give it a chance to sing to us. Keep in mind, Aries, this is a perfect time to remove ourselves from the outcome of the reading. You know, as, as the bowl is singing to us, take the time to inhale and exhale deeply, allowing yourself to step into a space and a place where you'll be open to hearing and receiving any messages that'll be meant for you to hear today. So let's get started. song that the crystal bowl sang for us today there's powerful vibrating energy coming from it very perfect and appropriate for aries energy so aries for your reading today i'm going to pull maybe six cards to start with i'm going to pull these energies from my psychic tarot of the heart deck which the energies in this deck they can be connected to relationships in our life uh, so this may turn out to be a relationship reading for some of you not necessarily though Aries, I pre-shuffled my decks, but I like to shuffle them one more time. Then I like to split the deck three times, pull the bottom card to see what the what the underlying energy is taking us into your tarot reading today. By the way, Aries, the background music is Reiki music. It's emotional and physical healing. They're just some good, soothing, really relaxing vibes. So I like to kind of have them playing in the background. This kind of sets the tone for the reading. Okay, Aries. Showing up as the central energy taking us into your tarot reading today, we have Rebuild. So this is equivalent to the tower energy in original tarot. Let me just double check that. Yeah, so it's representing it's representing the tower energy. Uh, towers, 
tower moments in the tarot readings, you know, sometimes we are the ones that create the tower moments for ourselves. Uh, other times it's the universe stepping into our stepping into our life in order to move around the parts and pieces, in order to create and stimulate change, to stimulate a change that's that you know Aries is feeling and needing that you may need to feel and experience in your life at this time. So showing up as a central theme, energy taking us into your reading today, rebuild. So many of you Aries may be in the process of, of maybe restructuring, uh, maybe re changing things in your life, rebuilding something in some way, shape, or form. Let's pull more energies. Tell us more about Aries. Tell us more about Aries. Okay, Aries. Coming in next to rebuild, we have share the love. This is equivalent to the Three of Cups. So Aries, I just want to pull a few energies and get them laid out here on the table. Let me give myself a chance to kind of look and take these energies in so I can kind of feel and see exactly what's taking place. Our goal in today's reading for you Aries is to be able to point out, show you what the energies look like ahead of you in the month of April so that you can step into that time and be a little, feel a little better prepared and equipped so you can maybe have a sense for being able to anticipate what may be coming. Um, and again, we're working on potential of energies here, right? So choices and such haven't been made yet. Okay, coming in next to share the love, we have embrace. So this is equivalent to the world card in original tarot. What it represents, well, it's, I feel like it's connected to this rebuild energy. Rebuilding is, you know, reconstructing, you know, uh, so this is about creating, right? Creating something new in your life. And embrace kind of represents and, and confirms this very energy. This is about, Aries, one chapter in your life coming to an ending. And now you're, with this chapter ending, right? and it's probably, it could be ending with this tower energy of rebuild showing up, but it's after this tower, energy that shows up that now you're stepping into your next beginning you're stepping into this beginning and I love the figure on here because he's he's in a very open position his arms aren't crossed you know he's not closed he's holding his arms out right so he's it's representing your energy Aries um, of your willingness right to receive whatever the universe has in store for you right that's part of this next chapter that many of you are stepping into For many of you, it may be connected to love, uh, relationship and connection in some way, with share the love showing up. Let's pull more energies. All right, Aries, tell us more. Okay, so following embrace, stepping into this new chapter, here we have a new beginning for you, clarity of belief. Uh, so this is sword energy, right? This can represent the energy of communication, it's a mental energy for many. Uh, this is representing stepping into this new beginning, which you know is looking like it's a new chapter that many of you are starting in your life. But you're stepping into this chapter with a new understanding, maybe um, new insight, new guidance, a new new direction. You're looking at things and seeing things, and you're experiencing things much different than you were experiencing them in your previous chapter. Aries, tell us more. Tell us more. Okay. Coming in next, we have Blossom. Uh, this is equivalent to the Judgment card in Original Tarot. That's coming in underneath and attached to Share the Love.
Tell us more. Tell us more for Aries. What does Aries need to understand? Aries, tell us more. Okay, coming in next, we have well-deserved reward. The number nine, uh, we're looking at this figure, and here he is standing on top of these three pedestals. Uh, it's, these three pedestals, you know, they're representing the journey, your life's journey, the work that you put in on your life's journey. You know, he has to work to build, to create these building blocks. And here he is standing on top of them, right? This is receiving the actual reward. Right? And it's coming in underneath embrace, touching it and attached to it. Embrace, once again, is, it's all about one chapter in your life coming to a closing as you're getting ready to step in and begin this new this next chapter. I feel like Aries, what's important to point out with you. So when one chapter closes in our life, it takes us towards a new beginning, right? And many times in order for, sometimes to check for, in order for chapters to close in our life, many times it requires this energy of, of rebuild, which is, it's, it's, the, it's the tower energy. So I don't necessarily feel like this is, you, the universe necessarily stepping into your life to you know to change things around for some of you that that might that may very well be the case um, but I feel like this is this tower energy is something something within you that, that maybe you're you're well aware of uh, because Aries if you're feeling like I, I just I need a change in my life right I need to I energies that I have in my life they're just not working for me right now they're just not serving me for some of you, it could be connected to a relationship, right? To a connection that we have here, as we have share the love coming in next to rebuild. But yeah, so closing the door on one chapter in your life, getting ready to step in and, and begin this this next chapter, taking you to a whole new beginning, right? A new beginning of a new understanding, a new way of looking at things, a new way of looking at life and experiencing life. Possibly for some, maybe a new way of, of even looking at some of your relationships and your connections. With Blossom coming out, right? This is a beautiful energy for you, equivalent to the Judgment card in Original Tarot. I just noticed, right? This ball of light right here, right? so it, it represents the energy. You know, it represents your energy within you. I feel like this is representing everything that you're comprised of Aries, right? All your beautiful energies that you have, the beautiful energies from the life experiences that you've been through, you know, and, and from these life experiences. It's really important as we're closing the door on one chapter and stepping into the next chapter, that coming in from our previous chapter, for some of you, there may have been some pain and some sadness, grief and some disappointment, right? Because at the end of the day, there are always lessons there. And, and unfortunately, it's, so it's many times it's the lessons that are painful, you know, that we experience that really force us to go inward, causing us to grow. But here we see, right, you're using your talents, your abilities, your skills, the skills that you've acquired from this previous chapter. And here you are, right, harnessing this power, right? I mean, she's using her hands. It's like she's, she's using her hands to just kind of kind of roll about this power, really strengthen it and build it up, taking this energy with you into your next chapter. And Aries, I need to point out, it looks like these energies serve you very well because here you are standing on top of these three blocks with a well-deserved reward. Um, so this is the universe letting you know, you know, to close the door on the previous chapter and opening up the door to your next chapter, taking the lessons that you've learned from your from your prior chapter, leaving behind the, the pain, the sadness, the grief. Right? We don't want to take any of those limiting energies with us. Just what we learned from the previous chapter. If you can take what you've learned, there's a well-deserved reward that's coming to you. 
All right, Aries, let's get some clarification. I'm going to use my Crystal Vision Tarot set for the clarifiers. What clarification is, is it's just going in a little bit deeper. It's, it's asking some specific questions about these energies that are showing up. It gives us a way of better understanding what these energies represent to you in your life. So Aries, tell us about Rebuild. Tell us about Rebuild. Okay, first clarifier we have is the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is a good energy. Tell us more about Rebuild. Tell us more about Rebuild. Okay, Aries, coming in as clarifiers on the energy of Rebuild. So, Rebuilding, this is reconstructing. This is, this is making changes in your life, changes that you're aware of, changes that I say you're aware of because here we have the three of wands, right? So she's, this is representing your energy. Here she is sitting on the edge of this cliff. She's looking at the journey that lies ahead of her. She wants to get a sense of what this journey looks like. So she pulls out a crystal ball and holds it up to the sun. Here we have two rays of light that are piercing through this crystal ball. So I feel like it's showing up here in your reading areas to, you know, to let you know, many of you know that you're thinking about this very thing right now or, or will be soon where you're looking at, at the, the path, the journey that lies ahead on you, of you, the journey that you want to create, that you want to manifest. And you realize that in order for you to be able to, to stay on path and to be able to manifest these desires that you have in this journey, that inevitably what it's going to require on your part is to, to move some parts and pieces around, to, to make some changes, even to make some changes within you and then coming out as clarification, we have the Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups, this is a beautiful energy, a blissful energy. This is about connection. This is about relationship. It's about two people coming together in union. She's holding a child. So for some of you, this you know this may very well be about about a relationship. You may be you, know, you may be in a position where you're thinking about the relationships in your life or a specific relationship because here we have share the love. You're looking at the journey that lies ahead of you and, and you're like, okay, it's not, but if I keep going on this path, it's, I'm not going to be manifesting those things that I really desire to manifest. So in order to do that, I, I need to step back and I need to rebuild, I need to reconstruct, I need to move the parts and the pieces around. You can do it, Aries. You have all the power and the ability within you. All right, Aries, tell us more about Share the Love. Tell us more about share the love energy. Okay, wow, Aries. All right, so coming out again, here we have the tower card coming out as a clarifier. The tower card's coming out connected to this energy of, of share the love. So it seems pretty clear to us right now with the clarifiers that are coming out that this rebuilding and this reconstruction areas that that's taking place or that you're aware of in your life it's it's necessary and, and inevitably i feel like for many it's, it's necessary for you to rebuild and reconstruct in order to be able to manifest the kind of relationships in your life that you're truly seeking whether that's all relationships or whether that's a single relationship or whether it's romantic or partnership or could be family or friend but here we see the tower moment coming up again, showing us that, yeah, the tower is, is, is here, that the, the changes are absolutely necessary. And with the, shower, with the tower card showing up two times, this may point out uh, 
for you, Aries, that it may be yourself and the other person as well that has to kind of step back and rebuild and reconstruct things in their life in order to be able to move forward with the journey that lies ahead of you. This journey taking you to where many of you, this is an energy that you're desiring. This is a, this is about the kind of the, the completion of the family, the connection coming together. It's it's a blissful energy. You know, this this energy right here is the the white house, the picket fence, the beautiful yard, the sunset, the kids playing in the yard. It's completing that kind of energy. So I feel like many of you are you are you're seeking this this kind of connection, whether you're already in that relationship and that connection or not, but you're looking to feel and experience something a little different than what you've experienced in your first chapter. Tell us more about Share the Love. Okay, so coming in attached to Share the Love and also attached to the Tower, we have the Five of Cups. So this is Five of Cups, this is representing, we have three spilled cups that are in the water, they're tipped over. So tipped over spilled cups, they represent setbacks, disappointments. Setbacks or disappointments for many that are connected to a, to a relationship or a series of relationships in your life. If we look at the figure here, her focus is down here on these three spilled cups, you know, representing sadness and grief. So I, I, I know this energy, I, I recognize it, you know, many times so we're working our way through life. We're on that, that we're on that journey. Things happen, you know. Things get shaken up, and we thought we were experiencing and having one particular, you know, type of experience. But here we have some disappointment showing up, sadness and grief. With her focus down here on these three spilled cups, she's unable to see these two full cups that are being offered to her behind her. Um, so I feel like it's this energy Aries that many of you are aware of and this is where that tower moment that tower energy is maybe required to step in it's to possibly pull many of you from this lower vibrating energy of, of you know just expecting more disappointments more sadness more setbacks and Aries you don't I mean I know many of you, you don't you don't want this you don't want to take this energy with you into this next chapter that many of you are getting ready to step into Aries, tell us more. Tell us more about Embrace. Okay, so here we see it again, the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords coming out twice. Um, yeah, and it's coming out as a clarification on this new chapter, right? So. Ace of Swords coming out twice. Aces represent beginnings. So, yeah, this is a, at the end of the day, this is a mental energy, right? The reason, so you don't want to take these limiting energies with you, right? As you close the door on the last chapter and you're stepping into your next chapter, because these are lower vibrating energies. You don't want to step into this next chapter where you're just expecting more of the same, you know, sadness, grief, setbacks, and disappointments. Instead, you want to free yourself from those energies. That's probably what this rebuild tower energy is all about. Because you're stepping into this next chapter with a whole new, different way of looking at things. A different understanding where you're able to free yourselves from the setbacks and the disappointments, the sadness and the grief from the past. Okay, Aries, tell us more about Embrace. Okay. All right, Aries. Coming in next is the clarifier on Embrace. We have the Death card. So the Death card represents the energy of Scorpio. Right? So some of you may be connected with a Scorpio. You may be in a relationship with a Scorpio. You may have Scorpio somewhere here on your chart. The inscription on the headstone. It's written in Latin, but translated, it says, Life is changed, not taken. So clearly, this is about an ending taking place, right? An ending from your previous chapter coming to a completion. Many times, 
Endings like this, they can create a kind of a transformational change inside of us. Notice the butterflies, right? They're flying. We have this light piercing through the sky, piercing through even death itself, illuminating in the, what's in front of you. And Aries, what I, what I feel like is coming to an ending is moving away from the sadness, the grief, you know, the waiting, the wondering, and you're stepping into the next chapter, just, and you're stepping into it with full faith, full trust, holding out your arms, ready and willing to receive whatever the universe would like to bring you in your next chapter. All right, Aries, tell us more. Tell us about clarity of belief. Okay. First clarifier we have is the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, it's a beautiful energy. It's representing the energy of victory and of triumph. You know, so this so stepping closing the door on one chapter and, and stepping into your next chapter and stepping into it, Aries, with with a different understanding of letting go, you know, the setbacks and the disappointments, the sadness and the grief, right, from whatever may have taken place in this previous chapter. So if you can do that, right, truly see that through and let those energies go and step into this next chapter with a new understanding, a new outlook, optimism, positive thinking, it brings you victory and triumph. It's just a great sign, a great indication for you, Aries. Tell us more about clarity of belief. Okay, coming in as a clarifier, we have the King of Swords now. So the King of Swords represents air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, King. So we think of male energy, but it doesn't have to be. It's just representing that, that masculine kind of energy. So let's talk a little bit about this King of Swords energy. King of Swords, not the kind of energy to focus on sadness, grief, and setbacks from the past. King of Swords energy is he's seeking his truth, right? He, he's only interested in those nuggets that matter, those nuggets that, that, that have merit, those nuggets of truth that I can use, that I can use you know, as I integrate those into my understanding and I'm taking this new understanding with me into this new beginning. And it's taking you towards your truth, right? Because the King of Swords, that's what he's after. He's seeking his truth. Like, just give me the facts, right? Give me the facts. Give me, let me understand those energies, those true energies that serve me. You know, so Aries, you recognizing the limiting energies from your previous chapter, being aware of those and allowing yourself to just move away from those energies, just letting bygones be bygones. You know, I mean, one energy that comes to mind. So how, you know, how is it that we overcome this five of cups energy? Because this is going to be, for some, this may be very easy. For others, this may be a very difficult energy. And I feel like we're able, Aries, to eliminate this energy by changing our perspective, right? We're changing our perspective with this new way of thinking, right? This is about loss. This is representing the energy of the things that didn't work out for me, right? The things that, that, haven't, that haven't served me well, they've, they've caused me frustration, grief, maybe disappointment and sadness. So recognizing that, being aware of this, and moving away from that energy, and the way we do that is by realizing taking the time to step back and to be aware of everything that we have in life to be grateful for, right? Truly, it's our gratitude that we feel within us that allows us to take our focus off of these three spilled cups and now we can focus on these two cups, right? And two of cups represents that energy of love, relationship, and connection. So, your ability to let go of the disappointment, the sadness, and the grief Free yourself up from that energy, taking on those nuggets of truth that matter to you. Really giving yourself the chance to feel the gratitude, for, the gratitude for your life experience, all the all that you've learned for the relationships and the connections that you have in your life. So you're able to maybe look at these three spilled cups that are tipped over and, and look back on them. And you're able to, instead of focusing on the disappointment, the sadness or the grief, you're focused on the growth. Like, what did I learn? What did I get a chance to experience from these three cups? Because that three cups tipped over experience, inevitably, Aries, I feel like it strengthens you. It makes you better. For many, it may be forced you to go inward. 
maybe forcing you to go inward to seek your truth. Tell us more about Blossom. Okay. So Aries, this is the energy we're getting clarification on. Uh, Blossom, which is the judgment card. This is letting go, letting go of the opinions and the judgments. Coming out as a clarifier on this energy, we have the Queen of Swords. I'm not surprised at all. Queen of Swords. So we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords showing up here in your reading. So a lot of air showing up. Some of you could be connected to an air sign. But the Queen of, Cor Queen of Swords, right? She's like a no-nonsense kind of energy. Notice she holds a sword in one hand and a butterfly in the other. So this is an energy that's available for us to be able to harness when it comes to being able to cut out and remove energies in our life that just aren't serving us anymore. The Queen of Swords has the ability to be able to step back and look at things objectively, not a real emotional energy. Kind of sticks to the truth and sticks to the facts. She can recognize what's serving her and what's not. So she's cutting out, she's re removing those energies that aren't serving her. Those energies for you Aries that aren't serving you are showing themselves here as the Five of Cups, the setbacks and the disappointments. For some of you, those energies may also be connected to the tower moment. You know, tower moments, I'm gaining more and more of an understanding of those. And, I, and with this understanding that, I, that I'm gaining of, of tower experiences, it's, it's, it's providing me a, a greater and a deeper sense of appreciation for the tower moment. Like now that I'm aware of tower moments, I can look back in my life and I can see when the tower moments came up. Many times when I created them, and other times when they just kind of came in. But inevitably, each and every time those changes come in, right? Those changes and that disruption, it comes in because in some way, shape, or form, my growth is stunted, right? I'm, I'm, maybe I'm, I'm feeling stuck, right? And I feel like maybe some of you have been feeling stuck. You're aware of that and you're tired of being, I mean, Aries is not the zodiac sign to feel stuck. It's like, you guys have too much go get them energy to, you know, to feel stuck. So I feel like, yeah, many of you, you're probably creating, manifesting this tower experience on your own. Maybe literally looking at things, already making, kind of making the changes yourself. That would be very like Aries to do that. Tell us more about Blossom. Tell us more about Blossom. Okay, coming in as a clarifier on Blossom, we have the Four of Swords now. So the Four of Swords, it's a, it's a good energy. It's, by itself, it represents the energy of rest and recuperation. You know, so at the end of the day, Aries, this is about you taking care of you. You taking care of your inner energetic needs. Finding that balance within you. Uh, it's also about nurturing yourself. You know, it's about eating healthy and sleeping uh, getting a full night's rest, you know, making sure you're getting good, adequate rest, and that there's good balance in your life. Okay, tell us about well-deserved reward. Okay, Aries, coming in as a clarifier, we have the Seven of Swords down. Let me pull one more energy in and we'll talk about this. Okay, so here are the clarifiers. And again, the energy we're clarifying for you, Aries, is well-deserved reward, which I feel like this is the energy that, that, that's going with you into this, into this next chapter. Here we have the Seven of Wands. So, Seven of Wands represents a defensive energy. If we look at the figure, he's on his dragon, right? So he's on his path and he's on his journey. So he's trying to move, but here he is taking on and feeling all of these defensive energies. Whether you feel like you're having to defend yourself to others, you know, or many of you maybe feel like you have to defend yourself to yourself. You know, looking back on it, like, oh, why did I, why did I allow this? Why did I allow these limiting energies to happen? Attached to it is the Two of Cups, which is, this is about connection. This is about relationship coming together. Showing up as, as well-deserved reward. So this is about you letting go of the limiting energies, right? The defensive energies. And your well-deserved reward is a Two of Cups. So I feel like Aries, 
the reason this Two of Cups is showing up is that for many of you, it's this Five of Cups energy, these setbacks and disappointments. And I feel like there's there's some real meaning here that you know, many of you are feeling these energies. You know, you're, you're so aware of this that it's connected to relationships or a relationship in your life. But your ability to leave those energies behind, leave them in the last chapter, step into your next chapter, don't take those, those energies with you. Instead, you're taking on a new way of thinking, a new understanding, and now what it's bringing you is bringing you victory and triumph. And I feel like this victory and triumph is connected to this Two of Cups, right? So it's representing either a relationship in your life, for many that'll be the case, or it may re represent several different relationships in your life. But I feel like it's these limiting energies in some way, shape, or form that for many may be holding you back from being able to feel and experience the kind of connection in terms of a relationship or relationships that you're seeking. Again, letting go of the defensive energies, right? All the second guessing and the questioning, letting go of this, where now maybe you're, you're having that faith and that belief in yourself, even that faith and that belief in others again, affording you, you the ability, right, to believe in love, believe in relationships, to believe in this close spiritual connection. Okay, here we have the star card on the bottom of the deck. All right, Aries. I want to pull one more energy for you. I want to pull it from my Magical Times Empowerment cards. This is going to serve as the empowerment energy, taking us out of your reading. We just want to see what advice Spirit has for you here. Okay, beautiful. Aries, here we have integrity. I want to I want to read this energy out loud. Aries, drop the things that offend your soul. Embrace your truth. It's your life. Let no one live it for you. So drop the things that offend your soul. Maybe this five of cups, right? Maybe this sadness, grief, these disappointments. Right? There's some merit. There's some meaning to this, right? This is about dropping, letting go of those energies and embracing your truth. Your truth showing up here with both the king and queen of swords, right? Seeking your truth. It's your truth you're taking with you with this new understanding into this next chapter in life. That's what brings you the energy of victory and of triumph. Okay, wow. Aries, you guys had a great tarot reading here. Um, very connected reading. It pulled me right into it. It kind of took me on the energetic ride. Uh, and, and I really liked how everything just kind of flowed. It kind of shared a, a story and an experience here. Aries, I hope this reading resonates with you. I hope that in some way, shape, or form, you're able to connect with you, part of your story and your truth, as well as the messages that are here. That, and it's my hope and prayer that the messages here in these readings, that they help you, Aries. They help you on your path. They help you to be able to move on from the limiting energies that some of you may be feeling and experiencing as you embrace these changes, right? Embrace the changes that many of you might be feeling right now, these tower type energies, taking only the nuggets of truth with you into this next chapter, leaving behind any of the pain, right? Literally dropping the things that offend your soul. Wow, that's kind of powerful when I say that. Embracing your truth. It's your life. Let no one live it for you, right? And Aries is great at that. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate the, the, your viewership. I appreciate those of you that, you know, whether the read resonates with you or not, or you're, you're watching it and it's like, wow, Mary, Mary or Sue or somebody in your life. I, 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 this is their story. They'll recognize these energies. I appreciate those of you that take the time to forward these readings and share them with others that you feel would benefit from these messages. I really do appreciate that. Uh, Appreciate the likes, the subscribes, and all the beautiful comments that many of you many of you share. I, I truly love the comments. I, I read them all. Your comments give me a chance to feel closely closer connected to you, to be able to pick up on your energy. 
which I feel like is very helpful for the tarot readings moving forward. So keep the comments coming. Um, thank you so much. It's a beautiful day in the world, right? We're moving into spring right now, so a beautiful time for us to be able to take on and embrace, right? literally embrace these new beginnings, embrace these changes that are coming into your life. Okay, Aries, thank you. thanks again. Really appreciate you tuning in. Have a beautiful day. Wishing you all the very best.